Today on Songs of Praise, I'll be finding out how chickens can combat loneliness, and helping me will be this group from the Northeast. They're known as henshiners, not pensioners. Also in the programme, Richard Taylor, our very own church detective, is in Howarth in West Yorkshire, exploring its links with the Bronte family. And I'm here in the Cotswolds for a sneak preview of the new series of Father Brown, the crime-solving priest. Chesterton wrote him as a short, stumpy priest, so I play him as a larger, fat priest. And we've no shortage of great hymns and songs to inspire you, starting with this one, a stirring epiphany hymn from Ipswich. Loneliness is a growing problem. For many, it could be pretty miserable. Over a million pensioners here in the UK say they haven't spoken to a friend, neighbour or family member for at least a month. But I've come to a sheltered housing project here in Gateshead that's doing its part to combat loneliness in a surprising way by enlisting some special help. Chickens! Hen power is a scheme that uses these bird buddies to reduce loneliness and depression. I want to find out how the residents here in Wood Green have been won over. Hens have lived here alongside the residents for four years now as part of a project run by the charity Equal Arts and it's expanding across the country. Yeah, this one's having a good look at me. Oh, okay. Seeing you on your telly. Sorry. Yeah. Do you think you've seen me on the telly? Is that what it is? <laughs> 89 year old Thomas Creswell, known as Ozzy, is one of the people who've benefited. Twice widowed, Ozzy has lived alone in his bungalow for 16 years. Loneliness is a terrible thing. Every day is the same. Nothing interests you. I mean, people, they don't want to know you. You don't want to know them, you know? I mean, you're really, you're a world apart. You're living on your own. You have nobody to talk to, nobody to fend, you know, nobody to help you with these things. You're grasping for straws, really. When your wife dies, you've got nothing left. It's like half of you dying, isn't it? And when you 
half of you is dying, you haven't got no will to live yourself. You've got no time for television or anything. You just uh, want to sit in the garden and reminisce things you had with your wife and things like this. Did faith make a difference? It helps you. Because uh, when you're on your own, you forget about people. You think about the end of your life and uh, what's going to happen to you then. But I was brought up in a church uh, when I was young. And uh, at night, I still say my night prayers, such as the wife, I always say a prayer for her and the people that's next to us uh, that's got problems, you know. So, who have we, who have we got here? Who's this? Ah, this is Betty. That's it. She, she will settle down. Oh, hello. That's the first time I've fed a hen. They're, they're friendly, they're they you are. Know? Yes. She's lovely. Ah, she's told by the feet. Ah, okay. The right hand. Right. Oh, right hand by the feet. Ah, and then like that. just not too tight. Right. She'll settle down, put it on top of your knees, you know, she'll not... They're lovely. She'll not, she'll not bother, you know. These is make a great difference in my life, and it's made a great difference to other people's lives. In, in what way has it made a difference? Well, it gets me out of the house, it gets me meeting people, so it's been a, a godsend to me who also tried to convey this to other people that hasn't got anything. They live outside my back door. I say, hello, darling, how are you? And they come up to us, and they actually do. They all come running, and you're talking and they're pecking and shouting at you. <laughs> people don't realise how nice and warm and soft they are. They are. I'm yes. amazed. Yes. I never realised either. When you take them to children's schools, well, they're just gobsmacked. Yeah. It would take their hands. Old people's homes is people's looking out the window and they've got nothing. They don't talk to each other. And silence is golden in them places. Well, when I go with the hens, I mean, you cause a bit of havoc. Everybody is looking and the place comes alive for a few hours and you put the hens out and they're walking about. They're the focal point, aren't they? They're the yes, focal point. We have hen nights. Well, we have oh, not like the normal hen nights. <laughs> <laughs> well, not them. Hen no, not then. <laughs> what we call a hen night, which is a social evening. Yeah, yeah. Well, and we have raffles and things like and that. And the money goes to help the hens if they need anything. How do you feel now when you have Betty in your arms? All I feel is uh, I've got a life in my hands, you know. <laughs> yeah, when you sit looking at the wall of you having your chickens, you know. Do you thank God for them? I thank everybody for them. Especially good. If it hadn't have been for him, I wouldn't have been here looking after them. And uh, God's give me the strength and uh, the mind to talk about them and make other people happy. <laughs> <laughs>